We all want to stay healthy and fit during our time at college, but no one wants to work out alone. How boring. Thankfully, the Colvin Center offers plenty of group fitness activities to choose from. In total, we have over 120 classes between three different sites uh, here at the Colvin Recreation Center, Sarantine Wellness Center. As well, we offer classes at the Student Union. It might be hard to fit one of these classes into your busy schedule, but graduate assistant Melissa Mapson says it's worth it. The most important benefit is that you have someone motivating you um, to work out and to keep pushing yourself. And um, a lot of times you always complain about working out, but usually when you're in a group fitness class, you can come with your friends and you can have people to kind of work through all of it with you. And you have an instructor that's helping you make sure that you're, you've got correct form and things like that. While classes like spin, dance, and glow Zumba are popular, fitness coordinator Preston Niesemeyer says they're always open to new class ideas. A lot of it comes through just word of mouth, surveys, when people come into our door and say, why don't you offer a class like this? Uh, we do, a, like I mentioned, we do surveys and we do have them going on right now, and that's where we get a lot of our feedback. So we do a lot of um, research looking at other schools um, to bring in new classes and see what else they have, see what's in um, other gyms and things like that. But of all the classes that Colvin offers, perhaps none are more exciting than the mixed martial arts classes. Ah! I like the community, I like the friendship that you make, the self-defense aspect. Randy Feimster and her husband Trevor both teach the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and mixed martial arts classes. For them, it's a way to continue doing what they both love. My husband Trevor actually started doing it before I did and he started telling me about how great Jiu Jitsu was so I decided to try it out myself and I fell in love with it literally day one. I was just a, a, a fan of the UFC and MMA in general so I just wanted to train a little more and I thought I knew how to throw a punch so I thought I might want to learn how to grapple and that, that kind of became my, my go-to. Classes run six days a week and are taught by both Randy and Trevor simultaneously though they each play different roles. Trevor and I we split off. Uh, he, Trevor usually teaches the gi and I teach the no gi and we kind of play the good cop bad cop. I'm considered the drill sergeant in practice and then Trevor does kind of the, the sparring and then like the flashy technique submissions and he teaches that kind of stuff. So Trevor's more easy going, I'm more of get it done. <laughs> if you try to learn a martial art on your own, especially something like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's gonna be really, really hard. You have to have a partner, especially for, for grappling because you can't just hit a bag or hit a pad or something like that. You have to have a physical person who's going to resist and not just a rag doll. In addition to learning self-defense, students are encouraged to compete in regional and national events. As far as our competition team goes, we have um, probably two or three girls that have competed and done really well, especially one of them, and then we've had a few guys compete as well. We have three or four students going to compete at an AGF, which is a fairly large tournament um, in Tulsa. Being fit can mean different things to many people. Whether you're looking to get swole or learn new techniques, it's nice to know you don't have to go it alone. For the Ocali, I'm Zachary Furman.